what is up you guys this is pcw's official commentator james matthews here to commentate on bew and pcw as they host last resort 2 featuring the superstars from bew and pcw and tonight to kick off this amazing pay-per-view we have the bew world heavyweight champion chris copeland taking on the former BEW champion, the man he lost the title to, Mystery. Both men from PCW originally, but both going one-on-one for a title just as prestigious as the PCW world title. A lot of critics claim that Copeland screwed Mystery out of his opportunity. Mystery only held that BEW title for about a minute or so. And as Mystery points to that title and says it's officially his, or at least it should be, Chris Copeland starts out with a counter for a full Nelson slam here. Chris Copeland starting out with a quick cover and only gets a two count out of it. Chris Copeland is a five-year pro of the backyard wrestling industry as he goes for a huge mystery though has been around just as long as copeland actually mystery debuted in pcw only a year and a half after copeland mystery is a three-year pro here Well, I wouldn't say three years because, yes, Mystery was injured with a severe knee injury a while back, almost two years ago from Tommy Mason, the current PCW World Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this match has a lot riding on it. Ever since Mystery had made his return almost three months ago at the unstoppable pay-per-view held by PCW, that PCW World Title Tournament pay-per-view, ever since Mystery made his de- return after losing to both Chris Copeland and Austin Mavericks and everyone saying he can't do it, he can't return and be as good as he once was. Mystery is a former PCW Hardcore Champion, and now he, he has become... A former BEW world champion. He has made it to the top. Maybe only for a little while. Only for maybe a minute. But he has made it to the top. And here's some punches right to the back of the head of Copeland. Which are just as effective as punches to the face. And here we go. Maybe set up for a humongous suplex. Which connects Copeland feeling that one. Cope, Chris Copeland wrestling shirtless which is a lot more effective when it comes to getting slammed on the trampoline, or even especially when it comes on the outside of the ring and a huge backbreaker. Mystery seems to be working on that back, and for those who don't know, Chris Copeland has had a history of neck problems. So, and for those who know, who don't know, the spinal cord connects straight to the neck. And wait a minute, Chris Copeland showing just absolute raw power, manhandling mystery, getting him up on his shoulders, and it looks like a huge backbreaker from Copeland. So as Mystery's working on the back of Copeland, that is the f- affecting an already hurt neck of Chris Copeland. Chris Copeland picking up his prey in Mystery. Maybe going for the double knees to the gut. We've seen him hit this move before, and it connects. And that might have broken a rib of Mystery. Let's see if he can get the three count. And no. That's one of those moves where, yes, Chris Copeland has never actually gotten a pinfall with it, but it definitely takes the air out of his opponent. And wait a minute, going for a zigzag. Mystery throws him off here and goes for a huge punch, connects. And goes for another one. Mystery, drop kick to the shoulder of Chris Copeland. That might get it. Maybe his foot hit him in the jaw. It was kind of hard to see from that angle. Maybe going for a... Oh, and a powerbomb. Man, it looked like Copeland's head might have cracked one of those springs. I don't know, but it looked like he barely got managed to get Copeland off the ground here. Mystery setting Copeland up for something here. Maybe, hopefully, what he needs to do is do something big. Maybe the mysterious worm here he's pulling out. We've seen Mystery like to have a good time and likes to have fun in that ring, but this is for a world title and a big splash connects. Mystery's lucky that splash connected because he. we've seen him screw up on a move like that before. And Mystery... Mystery right now shooting and hoping for maybe that face lock driver and goes for it. Wait a minute, Copeland. Copeland catches him. Owen just spins around and drops Mystery on the back of his head. Goes for another cover and only gets a two count. 
Mystery and Copeland putting it all on the line tonight shows you how much this BEW world title means to these men and pushes off the RKO. Wait a minute. There, there's the face off driver. And oh my God. I Like I said earlier, that injured neck of Chris Copeland, he might be done. He landed very, very awkwardly on that neck. This match can be over, ladies and gentlemen. All Mystery has to do is, is go for the cover, but right now he's wasting way too much time. He finally rolls over the cover and only gets a two count. He wasted way too much time. He needed to pin him as soon as possible, and we might have had a new BEW World Champion. As this match heads into the five-minute mark, Mystery and Chris Copeland showing signs of their battles. They have had many battles in the past. Chris Copeland was actually the first person. Wait a minute. Copeland's up. Wait a minute. No. Oh, my God. An RKO out of nowhere. Mystery landed very, very awkwardly on the neck. That could is provoke serious injury. And a three count. Chris Copeland retains the BEW World title at risk it all, too. Wait a minute. So, Chris Copeland is still in the run to face whoever the winner of the Backyard Rumble tonight at Path to Glory. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to see the conclusion to the Royal Rumble, the Backyard Rumble. I'm sorry, Chris Copeland. Chris Copeland signing off. What a huge victory for him. But up next, yes, that's right. Here comes the Bad Reed, one half of the BEW Tag Team Champions, alongside with his tag team partner, Lights Out E, who, yes, is in this match. Bad Reed has told me he is taking this match as serious as possible. He would love to win that BEW title once more. Ladies and gentlemen, what Bad Reed has told me is he would love to take on Tommy Mason, but at the same time, he would also like to choose Chris Copeland for his Path to Glory winner if he can win this Battle Royal. But at the same time, JB Daniels, who has returned to BEW only a month ago, told me that he would want the PCW world title around his waist. He said that that has more prestige to him than a BEW title. So let's see if he can if one of these two men can make it to the final two and win the Backyard Rumble. But remember, they still have over eight men to go. And let's see what they can do here. Throwing him out, almost throwing him out, and whoa, a huge kick to the Bad Reed's head. Looks like his knee might have caught him in the temple, which is also very effective. Twisting the arm up. Ladies and gentlemen, just throwing the Bad Reed around like a rag doll. And goes for a humongous clothesline. Maybe going for another one. Going for maybe a third one. No, Bad Reed misses it. Oh, wait a minute. JB Daniels. Oh, my God. A huge slam by JB Daniels. Seems like Daniels is caught in the Bad Reed off of his game right now. And going to the top of the ladder. Let's see if he can hit a huge high-flying move here. Wait a minute. No. Bad Reed getting up. He's second-guessing there. That's smart by JB Daniels. He can't be. Wait a minute. Here's the third entrance in the Backyard Rumble. Oh, wait a minute. He, I don't know who that was, but he is out of here. That must have been one of the new BEW rookies the Bad Reed was talking about. The, there is no way he was going to try to sneak attack. Oh, my God, a huge kick to the temple of JB Daniels. But there's no way a new rookie in the BEW was going to sneak attack a, a veteran like JB Daniels or the Bad Reed. Get him out of here. He We didn't have even have time to put his name up on there. And going for a huge splash misses it. Once again, they got to conserve their energy. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. JB Daniels hit it in his finisher. Already in this match, weaken him down. Here comes the fourth entry, Mystery. And we have to wonder how much worn down and how much stamina Mystery has left. I mean, he's already wrestled once. He's already lost to Chris Copeland earlier in the night. Let's see what he can do. Like I said, a three-year veteran is mystery. He can handle, he can stand with the best here. And just kicking J.B. Daniels in the back of the head here. and gets a slap to the face from the Bad Reed. Bad Reed already going, looks to be going for either elimination on mystery. Mystery needs to get off them shoulders. So wait a minute, a TKO. A humongous TKO to mystery from the Bad Reed. The Bad Reed, like I said, is a already a tag team champion. He would love to once again become either BEW champion or PCW world champion. And another huge TKO to JB Daniels. That's just showing the athleticism and the pure strength that the Bad Reed can support. And let's see, maybe he is all, we're already getting down to the second, the countdown to see where the fifth member is. Wait a minute, wait a minute, oh my god, wait, oh, oh, and Mystery takes a huge bump, Mystery is the second man eliminated here. 
Wait a minute. I don't hear this. Wait a minute. Fiery apple. Ladies and gentlemen, that is no fire apple. That is not a BEW or a new PCW superstar. That is Tommy Mason. I know it for a fact. Ladies and gentlemen, if you saw PCW episode 10, you would know that Tommy Mason has been banned from this match because the bad read, the one that's giving him the boots right now, beat him on PCW episode 10, which meant that Tommy Mason could not compete in this backyard rumble. Looks like both men have realized this is Tommy Mason and going for a double team win. Mason, Mason, a crafty seven-year backyard veteran here. Mason has always said, wait a minute, going for a slam. Camera's caught off guard, and here comes our sixth entrance. Another BEW newcomer. The Lil O here. Let's see if he can do better than the last guy here. And oh, Lil O already getting the, already getting stomped down here. He's trying to fight back, but ladies and gentlemen, there are pros in this ring, and this is Lil O's first ever match. Let, I don't think he can do... He might actually be gone right now. Who knows? Let's see what the battery wants to do with him. Just throws him... Oh, my God. And it looked like he caught him with a knee at the, when he dropped him. That was kind of dumb by the battery. He should have thrown him out when he had the opportunity to. But who knows? Once again, he might have thought he needed to wear down the little kid before throwing him out. Here comes the sixth entry. One half of the tag team champion and current TV champion lights out E, former US champion. He is the fastest rising star in BEW history. Ladies and gentlemen, I am in love with lights out E. I'm going to say that right now. I have big plans for this kid. I can see this kid being a world champion in the future. L little O trying to take advantage. Lights out E is only a one year pro, ladies and gentlemen, but he he, he can wrestle with the best. He has a pinfall victory over the bad read, ladies and gentlemen. As JB Daniels, as JB Daniels hits fiery apple. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna call him Tommy Mason. As JB Daniels hits Tommy Mason, the huge clothesline. And for those all you skeptics out there who don't believe me, that has to be Tommy Mason. There, it looks exactly like him. Just because he puts on a mask and calls himself fiery apple doesn't mean anything. And wait a minute, here comes our. Wait a minute, this is our final elimination. It can't be. The return, he returns. It's former BEW world champion. Extreme Wolverine. No way. Ladies and gentlemen, Extreme Wolverine making a return, going straight after the rookie Lil O, and just throws him on top of Lights Out E. Oh my gosh, and JB Daniels gets a DDT here. Fiery Apple kind of taking a break in the corner right now. Doesn't seem to want any part of this action right now. And Suicide Bomber, it looks like, just throwing down Lilo. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, if I had to take a guess, I would say my bet right now is on Extreme Wolverine as he hits a huge bomb on the bad read. He, I mean, right now, Extreme Wolverine, he's already been a former BW champion. He got stripped of the title, which is, I still declare, unfair. He's already been there to the top of the mount before, and he's the freshest man in the ring right now. JB Daniels and Bad Reed, I'm so surprised that they are in the ring right now. Somehow being able to survive to the very end of this match. Ladies and gentlemen. Lights Out E is still in the match. Same with Tommy Mason. Wait a minute. I was about to say Little O somehow is in the match. But no, he's out of there finally. That rookie showing some heart right there. Survive, being able to survive that long. But, you know, still... Not that. Oh, wait a minute. A German suplex. Tommy Mason. Wait a minute. That, okay, well, there's the Tommy Mason's finisher. The ankle lock. One of them. Oh, and a huge kick to the back of the head. Now, who don't believe me that that's Tommy Mason, ladies and gentlemen? Suicide Bomber. Suicide Bomber gets a huge drop kick from Extreme Wolverine here. JB Daniels taking advantage of the situation here. Let's see what Lights Out E can do. Lights Out E is trying to... Seems to be... Putting the boots to JB Daniels and then goes over and puts the boots to quote unquote fiery apple here. The ring is filled up with the top talent from BEW and PCW, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it's all about. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. wait. Oh, oh my God. And Tommy Mason. Tommy Mason can go back to PCW singing Sweet Home Alabama because he is out of here. 
no main event for Tommy Mason. He still is PCW World Champion. But yes, he is out of this ring. Fiery Apple. We will not see a main event at WrestleMania or our WrestleMania Path to Glory. We will not see Fiery Apple against Chris Copeland for that BW title or Tommy Mason versus Fiery Apple for that PCW title. We will not see that, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, Extreme Wolverine once again taking full advantage of the situation here. He needs to start throwing some of these guys out here. Fiery Apple just walked past our table. Seemed to be upset. He's saying something to our ring announcer. All right, now Extreme Wolverine. Wait a minute. Goes for a for a mic check. Drops JB Daniels on his head. And wait a minute. Going for the same thing to the bad read here. Oh, and hits another one on the bad read. That's his finisher. Wait a minute. Suicide Bomber gets one. Oh, no. Wait, wait. He can't pick him up. Wait a minute. He's got to reposition himself. Is he going to get it? Is he going to? And yes, he does. That's three in a row. Maybe Lights Out E. There's one for Lights Out E in his future. And yes, four. Four in a row, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I have Extreme Wolverine picked for my winner of this match. Ladies and gentlemen. Extreme Wolverine, the only one up. Once again, the ring is still pretty fulled up of some top superstars from BEW and PCW. As JB Daniels goes to the top rope. Bad Reed is laid out. All the guys getting off to the side. Wait a minute. And a leg drop to the Bad Reed. It seems to me like Extreme Wolverine was holding him there. Once again, teamwork will help. But when it comes down to the final two, there's no teamwork involved. As lights out, he hits JB Daniels with a humongous knee to the jaw. And even Extreme Wolverine, who we don't see it go off the top very often, is going up there. Which is, once again, dumb because he can easily get knocked off that ladder right now. In fact, I don't even think he's going to jump. I think he's just taking a break. He's taking his time, which is smart. But, you know, once again, like I said, he can easily just get knocked off. Wait a minute. Suicide Bomber gets drop kicked. Oh, and he flies out of the ring, landing very awkwardly on that elbow. Maybe cracked a rib or two. Lights out. He gets a huge elimination on Suicide Bomber, who was also a former BEW World Champion. A lot of BEW World Champions were in this match, even PCW World Champions. Wait a minute, he's trying to pick him up. Lights out, he's fighting back here. Wait a minute, no, no, no. Extreme Wolverine says he's going to get him. He's picking up Lights Out E. Just tosses Lights Out E to the side, manhandles him. Lights Out E's only 130 pounds, if that. Suicide Bomber taking his anger out on the Bad Reed and JB Daniels. Extreme Wolverine has Lights Out E up. What's he going to do with them? Uh oh, wait a minute here. Wait, he just throws Lights Out E on top of Suicide Bomber. That will teach Suicide Bomber to stop and stick around. Suicide Bomber and Lights Out E can go have dinner in Wisconsin because they are not going to be showing up to pass the glory in the main event for a BEW or PCW world title. And now Extreme Wolverine JB Daniels just trading blows. Seems like Extreme Wolverine's getting the best of him here. And I need the forehead. Ladies and gentlemen, Extreme Wolverine taking out all his anger. He was wrongfully stripped of that BEW world title. Now he has to work his way back up the ladder. And what a perfect opportunity to win the backyard rumble. His first match back. Bad Reed going for something very bad. He's not wanting this to happen. Or he might be out of here. Once oh, this is very dangerous and a suplex. Extreme Wolverine had the perfect opportunity to just toss the bad Reed out. But a suplex nonetheless will wear down the bad Reed. And a misses misses a Insingari. Does Extreme Wolverine and a ankle lock from JB Daniels? Wait a minute, what's Bad Reed doing? Bad Reed. Bad Reed might be going for. Bad Reed go hitting him with a sharpshooter. Ladies and gentlemen, this is wearing down the back and legs of JB Daniels. And JB Daniels fighting the battery off. Battery trying to get it back. Oh, and but. Oh my god, Extreme Wolverine kicks. Oh my god, he just kicked Bad Reed right in the ear. Right in the side of the head, ladies and gentlemen. That is very de devastating. And Bad Reed could be out for the rest of this match. Ladies and gentlemen. Right now, my pick, Extreme Wolverine, is still somehow in this match. But more importantly, the top two men that were that started this match, JB Daniels and the Bad Reed, somehow have survived to the very end. Shows you both their stamina, strength, and agility for being able to last this long in a match so grueling. Kick to the gut. What is Extreme Wolverine doing here? And a 
There we go. There's a Death Valley, a sit-out Death Valley driver there by Extreme Wolverine. We've seen him hit that move multiple times and win many matches with that move. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Going for another one? Oh, no. He didn't sit out with it, but still just as effective. No one will really know until you stand by J.B. Daniels just how tall this man is. He is close to six foot five, ladies and gentlemen. He is a humongous human being. Which shows you how talented our superstars are for being able to lift this man. And looks like Bad Reed going for another submission hold. Countered out of that Extreme Wolverine's finisher. And wait a minute, J.B. Daniels going for a going for a sent, standing senton. Breaking up the submission, helping out Extreme Wolverine, but also weakening him down nonetheless. Extreme Wolverine can thank J.B. Daniels for that one. Wait a minute, oh, kick to the gut. Looks like he was set up for his finisher. Blows to the head. And a kick to the back of the head might have knocked J.B. Daniels out. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is going on for nearly 15 minutes right now. These men are worn out. Let's see what Bad Reed has in store. Oh, and he catches him. J.B. Daniels catches the Bad Reed with his finisher. Oh, my God. J.B. Daniels says it's over. Might try to sh throw out Bad Reed and then go after Extreme Wolverine and finish off this match. Ladies and gentlemen, he needs to throw out the bad read. He has him out. Bad read can easily just be rolled off the ring here. Oh, but no. Extreme Wolverine is almost out here. What the heck? Wait a minute. Wolverine. Wolverine throws out JB Daniels. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no. No, my pick. My pick is gone. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. The Bad Reed has won the first ever Backyard Rumble. And now he has a choice to choose either if he wants to face the PCW World Champion Tommy Mason or the BEW World Champion Chris Copeland at Path to Glory. He's grabbing his Tag Team Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, this is amazing. This is a moment that none of us will ever forget. And hopefully my the Bad Reed will match Chris Copeland. Chris Copeland just struck the Bad Reed with the BEW title. Copeland might have just chose Mad, the Bad Reed's decision for him. No, my God. Chris Copeland just setting the title up on the ladder here. What's he going for? Just picking up his former partner and former best friend, Bad Reed, here. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. In a humongous RKO. Oh, my God. Chris Copeland has already beaten Mystery in the night, and now he has to end the show by beating up his former best friend and hitting him with an RKO. Really? Just kicks Bad Reed out of the ring. From all We've seen all these men, and now he just spits on them. From We've seen all these men do. They started out the se first season of PCW together, and now it's come to this. Ladies and gentlemen, tune in this Monday for BEW and this Friday for PCW. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe.